Nanan si Lucy, may isang pambihirang paraiso kung saan matatagpuan ang halos anim na raan ng species ng yaman dagat na naninirahan sa mga pagitan ng makukulay at iba't ibang uri ng bahura. Dahil sa yamang nito, sa sari buhay, ito ay diniklara ng UNESCO bilang isang World Heritage Site. Ito ang Tubataha Reef Natural Park. Magandang saribuhay, I'm Wilfredo Liquanan, a distinguished full professor from the Department of Biology and director of the Brother Alfred Shields FSC Ocean Research Center of the De La Salle University, Manila. Dahil sa lawak ng bahura at dami ng species na matatagpuan sa Tubataha, itinakda itong isang marine protected area. Because of this, regular reef monitoring is done as part of its management. Mula sa mga datos ng monitoring, we detected an annual decrease in hard coral cover, along with the corresponding increase in the cover of algal assemblages in the four sites of Tubataha. Our study posits that eutrophication could be the key driver of this change, along with other factors such as climate change and typhoon damage. Sa aming proyekto, nagsagawa kami ng detailed examination at analysis ng mga pagbabago sa benthic composition ng Tubataha Reef Natural Park. Our project sought to gather evidence on how and why the coral reefs of Tubataha Natural Park are changing. Our field methods involve the taking of many pictures of the reef following a standard protocol and processing thousands of images taken over 10 years. We focused on three main categories, the hard coral cover, algal assemblage cover, and sponge cover over time. Our research concludes that there is an apparent decline in hard coral cover in some monitoring stations, along with an increase in the algae and sponge cover. With climate change and human activities threatening the longevity of coral reefs, it is important for frontline reef managers to know how to manage this important ecosystem. Our findings help guide the Tubataha Management Office in defining interventions that will help conserve biodiversity that can be replicated in other coral reefs in the country. We also conducted trainings to capacitate them with the skills needed in reef monitoring co-sponsored a meeting to present the project's key findings to Tubataha stakeholders and produce science-based information that served as inputs for policy recommendations. Ang Tubataha Reefs, bukod sa pagiging ecotourism site nito, ay tahanan din ng napakaraming species ng isda at invertebrates. Coral reefs are very important for food security and then, Especially for a country like the Philippines, coral reefs are very important for shoreline protection. That is why we are actively advocating certain provisions for a national policy on corals and coral reefs, including a dedicated government agency for their management and conservation. Sa Sari Buhay, lahat tayo ay magkakaugnay. 
Kaya't malapit o malayo man tayo sa ating mga karagatan, responsibilidad pa rin natin ang pangangalaga dito. It is because the resilience of our natural ecosystems from human activity and climate change is derived primarily on the richness of our biodiversity. Sari buhay, sari buhay, sari buhay.